Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there everybody, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe, all right, let's do another freaking Transformer review, because I love some freaking Transformers. Today we'll be taking a look at Rise of the Beast. This is the main line, Optimus Prime. All right, I am Optimus Prime. Let's plug this in right there, because it can go right there, that's awesome. That's his little gun, little pew pew, all black plastic. But here he is. That's pretty cool. I don't know about these. I mean, is this what the truck really supposed to have? Is this right here? These little uh, cat ears or whatever you want to call them? I don't know. Really. But there you go. Nice translucent blue. Silver paint right here. Some uh, blue paint right there. I think that's a better. I think this red right here is painted and the red right here is painted too as well. Got the nice side mirrors, the blue windows. Nice Autobot symbol right there. Uh, wheels are pretty cool. You know, they're fine. A lot of gray plastic. Would have been cool if they put some silver paint, some of this, uh, you know, sculpt work and everything. But there you go. In the back, you got the little hitch. You can store the gun there, or maybe he'll get a trailer later on. Who knows? But there you go. There you can see inside. You can see the fist and everything. But there you go. And the little gas tanks come up. They kind of go down a little bit. So be wary of that. And then there's the other side. Very nice underneath. You like that kind of thing. It rolls just fine. So yeah, looks pretty cool. I like it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Been cool if they would have painted the uh, smokestack silver too. That would have been nice. A little touch. But there you go. Silver paint right there. All right, there's Red Alert. You got Magic Square Prowl, Wheelie, and Dustbuster Jazz. And I forgot to mention just a while ago, he is small. He's supposed to be Voyager scale. But, you know, I don't know. He's really, really small. But there you go. Scale.
here's Optimus Prime. Um, I forgot in transformation to spread open his chest right there. You're supposed to do that. Sorry about that. And that's supposed to tab in a little better. I know, not tabbing in that well. But here he is in all his glory. Optimus Prime. All right. Nice head sculpt. Really like it. Only thing is, once again, it does not look up. I can't look up or down. It's just side to side, man. I don't understand why they can't put a hinge or a ball peg right there. Come on now. Now it's got light popping. It's got some light blue light popping. Got the nice silver face and the silver head crest right there. But no up or down. I mean, I guess because of the, you know, the flat, the way it transforms, I guess you could do that. But it looks like a turtle now. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. I really, that's, that's easy. Just a ball peg right there. Anyways, chest looks good. Got the nice silver. This is painted red with the white. And that looks, well, that should have been silver too as well. It's got some nice sculpt work. And look at all this sculpt work right here, man. They would have put some silver you know, just a little bit of silver just to make a little pop a little bit. That would have been so very nice. Got black right there for some reason. Uh, you got some blue. All this blue is painted in red and black. So that's nice. So in the blue, the toes. I mean, he's got some boat feet too as well. Jeebus. But yeah, that blue is painted. All right, as far as the arms, so you can, you know, move the smokestacks how you want to. Um, these do, his uh, 80s woman working shoulder pads do move. You can go up to there, which is good. Should have put some silver right there too as well. All the way around, you do got a nice elbow bend. You do got this stuff hanging out. See if they would have put some silver right here. Man, would have popped. All right, bicep swivel. Um, the hand does, now this is painted red and white. The hand, I guess, kind of moves in and out and it cut is tight, but it's on a ball peg, so it does swivel. So that's good. All right, moving on down. You do got a little gap right there. You can see through his, right there. Um, he does have, so a white swivel, a little one right here kind of gets hang up, but then he's got like a swivel up here just because of transformation. So you get kind of two and a one and a half a little bit, not even a half, maybe a quarter uh, for the uh, waist swivel. So that's that. Um, got the side flaps. You can band dam all day, every day. I like how the this goes with it. Kick up and kick back. Thigh swivel. Just got a bunch of little holes right there. Uh, 90 degrees for the knee bend, a little bit over 90 degrees, not much, but it's there. All right, toe tilt up, toe tilt down, nice, and a nice rocker. And like I said, he does have the boat feet. Uh, no swivel uh, for the feet. And here is the back. He's got the kind of the butt tires or back tires, if you want to call it. And there you go, a little bit there and there. All right, the weapon. Seems a little tiny for, for him, but... You know, it's okay. So there you go. You can put it there. Um, I don't know if you can put it anywhere in the back. Yeah, you can actually put it right here. If you want to store it like this, you can. So you have that option. So that's pretty good. And that's about it. All right. There's Optimus Prime. All right. There's Siege Optimus Prime. You got Ironhide, Sideswipe, Core Class Wheelie. There's Studio Series Cheetor. And there is Tiss McGee Retgar. They are getting smaller because those two in the back are Voyager scale. And these two, Cheetor and Prime, are Voyager as well. Hmm. Crapper Gunners, Crappy Tool Paper, AAA Battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker, Squeaks, More Scale. All right, folks, let's talk about some Rise of the Beast Mainline Octopus Prime. Overall, he's fine. Not one of the better primes I've, you know, gotten in a while. But, um, so, I hope I can remember everything. So, uh, the alt mode, it looks fine. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know about these things. Is that what the truck's supposed to look like? Is it supposed to have that? Um, uh, kind of wish they didn't. But, um, other than that, the truck mode looks pretty good. I like it. Like I said, I wish they just painted some of the areas that had the scope work, uh, especially in bot mode. Uh, transformation is easy. Shouldn't uh, take that for, you know long to figure it out. Now the bot mode. All right. Like I said, it does have some decent paint. It got some red, some blue and everything and all that stuff. Just like I said, this area right here, his abdomen and stomach area, man, if they would have put some silver stuff in there, that would have made it really nicely done. And especially right here. Now they painted the red on the arm. Um, he does have the siege thing kind of going on with the, that thing sticking out. You don't like that, but you know, it's, I, I like it. It's not, it's fine. Um, also I forgot to mention, you know, his, um, the, uh, ball peg is kind of exposed for his hand. Kind of wish they would have covered that. Um, I forgot to mention during articulation, he does have an ab crunch. It's cause of transformation, but it's, it is there. But, uh, the head movement really, I, I really wish they would put a ball peg or something or a hinge so we can look up. Because he just goes side to side. And and if he looks down, it's kind of like a turtle thing. So 
I uh, really wish they had a little uh, more headroom in there and everything. Uh, but other than that, articulations, it's okay. It's decent. You know, he's got some decent articulation. It's weird with the waist. You know, you got a little waist swivel right there, but the top one is where you get the most of it. So, you know, it's there. And uh, like I said, the paint-wise, I'd say, you know, if they just painted some of the sculpt work, because there's a lot of gray plastic from his uh, down here all the way on around here. There's a lot of uh, gray plastic. And then, you know, see these wires right here? They would have painted those. Man, that would look so so much better he does got the tires back there and um yeah so uh materials feel fine you know just like you know just like hasbro does uh he does got some boat feet you know some big old feet um he's small too in the truck mode i really mean when i transformed him i was like man that's a small truck you know the voyagers are getting smaller you know and they're costing more so you got to put that in consideration too if you want uh, another optimus prime golly we get so many optimus primes uh the gun's okay um, I think it's a little too small for him, maybe. I don't know. Everything's just a little small, you know, for him and everything. But overall, he's not terrible. Uh, just not one of my favorite primes. You know, I think he's I think he's worth the purchase. He's fun transformation going back and forth. Uh, both modes look, you know, decent. I just wish they would add more paint uh, to some of the areas and stuff and all that stuff. So, and you got this clear, you know, you got the, you can see right through there. You know, that's a, everything. not a whole lot of uh, waffles, a little here and there, but not bad. So that's good. So, yeah, that was my review. Hope you liked it. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. All of this really helps. It helps my channel out, and it's free. And uh, hit me up some comments. Love reading your comments. So I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers. And hell freaking Optimus Prime. Can't wait for the movie. Good night, folks. Well, hey there, everybody. Well, I don't know really much to do about the floor time with this guy. We get Optimus Primes all the time. Do you think we'll ever get out of line without Optimus Prime? Probably not. He does sell. Um, could talk about. I'm excited for the movie. I say that every day, <laughs> so I don't really know what to. Um, what's up, everybody? Hey, everybody! It's another Optimus Prime. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I don't owe you Prime. Do I owe you money? No, you don't, Alpha Bravo. But kick the but the baby does. What? I don't owe anybody money. Come on now. No, I'm just gonna kick you. Yeah. What's up, Starscream? Pooper Scooper? Duper Scooper? Hey, what's up, Ron? How you doing? I'm good. Pew! Oh, back down. All right, floor time. Gotta love it.